Ganesh Chaturthi IAST, Ganesha Chaturthi, also known as Vinayaka Chaturthi, Vinayaka Chaturthi or Vinayaka Chavithi, Vinayaka Chavithi is a Hindu festival celebrating the birth of Ganesha. It falls in the months of August or September of the Gregorian calendar. The festival is marked with the installation of Ganesha clay idols privately in homes, or publicly on elaborate pandals temporary stages. Observations include chanting of Vedic hymns and Hindu texts such as, prayers and vrata fasting. Offerings and prasadam from the daily prayers, that is distributed from the pandal to the community, include sweets such as modaka as it is believed to be a favorite of Lord Ganesh. The festival ends on the tenth day after start, but we end it by one and a half day where the idol is carried in a public procession with music and group chanting, then immersed in a nearby body of water such as a river or sea. In Mumbai alone, around 150,000 statues are immersed annually. Thereafter the clay idol dissolves and Ganesha is believed to return to Mount Kailash to Parvati and Shiva. The festival celebrates Lord Ganesha as the god of new beginnings and the remover of obstacles as well as the god of wisdom and intelligence and is observed throughout India, especially in the states such as Maharashtra, Madhya Pradesh, Karnataka, Goa, Telangana, Gujarat and Chhattisgarh, and is usually celebrated privately at home in states such as Tamil Nadu, and Andhra Pradesh. Ganesh Chaturthi is also observed in Nepal and by the Hindu diaspora elsewhere such as in Australia, Canada, Malaysia, Trinidad and Tobago, Guyana, Suriname, other parts of the Caribbean, Fiji, Mauritius, South Africa, United States, and in Europe in Tenerife, at public venues, along with the reading of texts and group feasting, athletic and martial arts competitions are also held. History It is unclear when the festival started, it became a major social and public event with sponsorship of Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj after Mughal Maratha Wars, and again in the 19th century after public appeal by Indian freedom fighter Lakhmanya Tilak, who championed it as a means to circumvent the colonial British government ban on Hindu gatherings through its anti-public assembly legislation in 1892. Ganesha. The earliest mention of Ganapati, but not referring to the current Ganesha or Vinayaka, is found in the Rigveda. It appears twice in the Rigveda, once in hymn 2.23.1, as well as in hymn 10.112.9. Both of these hymns imply a role of Ganapati as, "...the seer among the seers, abounding beyond measure in food presiding among the elders and being the lord of invocation." While the hymn in Mandala 10 states that without Ganapati, Nothing nearby or afar is performed without thee, according to Michael. However, it is uncertain that the Vedic term Ganapati, which literally means, guardian of the multitudes, referred specifically to later era Ganesha, nor do the Vedic texts mention Ganesha Chaturthi, appears in post Vedic texts such as the Grhya Sutras and thereafter ancient Sanskrit texts such as the Vyasenayi Samhita, the Yajnavakya Smriti, and the Mahabharata mention Ganapati as Gainsveras and Vinayakas. Ganesha appears in the medieval Puranas in the form of God of Success, Obstacle Remover. The Skanda Purana, Narada Purana, and the Brahma Vaivarta Purana, in particular, profusely praise him. Beyond textual interpretations, archaeological and epigraphical evidence suggest Ganesha had become popular, was revered before the 8th century CE, and numerous images of him are traceable to the 7th century or earlier. For example, carvings at Hindu, Buddhist and Jain temples such as at the Ellora Caves, dated between the 5th and 8th century show Ganesha everentially seated with major Hindu goddess Shakti. Festival Although it is unknown when or how Ganesha Chaturthi was first observed, the festival has been publicly celebrated in Pune since the era of Shivaji (1630–1680), founder of the Maratha Empire. After the start of the British Raj, the Ganesha festival lost state patronage and became a private family celebration in Maharashtra until its revival by Indian freedom fighter and social reformer Lakhmanya Tilak. The festival, along with processions, was already in vogue as a public and a private celebration in Mumbai then called Bombay in 1885, according to the eyewitness account by a visiting Italian Sanskrit professor Anglo de Gubernatis. I followed with the greatest curiosity crowds who carried in procession an infinite number of idols of the god Ganesh. 
Each little quarter of the town, each family with its adherents, each little street corner I may almost say, organizes a procession of its own, and the poorest may be seen carrying on a simple plank their little idol or of papier-mâché. A crowd, more or less numerous, accompanies the idol, clapping hands and raises cries of joy, while a little orchestra generally precedes the idol. Angelo de Gubernatis, Bombay Gazette 1886. According to others such as Kaur, the festival became a public event later, in 1892 when Bausaheb Laxman Javail also known as Bau Rangari, installed the first Sarvayanik public Ganesha idol in Pune. In 1893, the Indian freedom fighter Lakmanya Tilak praised the celebration of Sarvayanik Ganesha Utsav in his newspaper, Kesari, and dedicated his efforts to launch the annual domestic festival into a large, well-organized public event. Tillich recognized Ganesha's appeal as, "...the god for everybody", and according to Robert Brown, he chose Ganesha as the god that bridged, "...the gap between Brahmins and non-Brahmins", thereby building a grassroots unity across them to oppose British colonial rule. Other scholars state that the British Empire, after 1870 out of fear of seditious assemblies, had passed a series of ordinances that banned public assembly for social and political purposes of more than 20 people in British India, but exempted religious assembly for Friday mosque prayers under pressure from the Indian Muslim community. Tillich believed that this effectively blocked the public assembly of Hindus whose religion did not mandate daily prayers or weekly gatherings, and he leveraged this religious exemption to make Ganesh Chaturthi to circumvent the British colonial law on large public assembly. He was the first to install large public images of Ganesha in pavilions in Bombay Presidency, and other celebratory events at the festival. According to Richard Cashman, Tillich recruited and passionately committed himself to God Ganesha after the 1893 Hindu-Muslim communal violence in Bombay and the Deccan riots, when he felt that the British India government under Lord Harris had repeatedly taken sides and not treated Hindus fairly because Hindus were not well organised. In Tillich's estimate, Ganesha worship and processions were already popular in rural and urban Hindu populations, across social castes and classes in Baroda, Gwalior, Pune and most of the Maratha region in the 18th century. In 1893, Tillich helped expand Ganesh Chaturthi festival into a mass community event and a hidden means for political activism, intellectual discourse, poetry recitals, plays, concerts, and folk dances. In Goa, Ganesha Chaturthi predates the Kadamba era. The Goa Inquisition had banned Hindu festivals, and Hindus who did not convert to Christianity were severely restricted. However, Hindu Goans continued to practice their religion despite the restrictions. Many families worship Ganesha in the form of patri leaves used for worshipping Ganesha or other gods, a picture drawn on paper or small silver idols. In some households Ganesha idols are hidden, a feature unique to Ganesh Chaturthi in Goa due to a ban on clay Ganesha idols and festivals by the Jesuits as part of the Inquisition, celebrations Public preparations for the festivities begin months in advance. Local mandapa or pandals are usually funded either from donations by local residents or hosted by businesses or community organizations. The making of the murti in Maharashtra usually begins with Padya Puja or worshipping the feet of Lord Ganesh. The murtis are brought to «pandals» on the day or a day before the festival begins. The pandals have elaborate decoration and lighting. At home, the festival preparation includes purchases such as puja items or accessories a few days in advance and booking the Ganesh murti as early as a month beforehand from local artisans. The murti is brought home either a day before or on the day of the Ganesh Chaturthi itself. Families decorate a small, clean portion of the house with flowers and other colorful items before installing the idol. When the murti is installed, it and its shrine are decorated with flowers and other materials. On the day of the festival, the ceremonial installation of the clay murti idol is done along with chants of holy mantras and puja including bhajans during a certain auspicious period of the day. In preparation for the festival, artisans create clay models of Ganesha for sale. The murtis range in size from 3 quarters inch centimeters for homes to over 70 feet 21 meters for large community celebrations. The date for the festival is usually decided by the presence of Chaturthi Thithi. The festival is held during Bhadrapada Madhyahana Purvabhada. If the Chaturthi Thithi begins at night on previous day and gets over by morning on next day, then the next day is observed as Vinayaka Chaturthi. In the consecration ceremony, a priest performs a prana pratishtha to invite Ganesha like a guest. 
This is followed by the 16 step Shodashapachara ritual, Sanskrit, Shodish, 16, Upachara, process during which coconut, jaggery, modaks, derva grass, and red hibiscus flowers are offered to the idol. Depending on the region and time zone, the ceremony commences with hymns from the Rigveda, the Ganapati Atharvashirsa, the Upanishads, and the Ganesha Stotra prayer from the Narada Purana are chanted. In Maharashtra as well as Goa, artis are performed with friends and family, typically in the morning and evening. India In India, Ganesha Chaturthi is primarily celebrated at home and in public by local community groups in the central and western states of Madhya Pradesh, Maharashtra, Gujarat and Goa and the southern states of Karnataka, Kerala, Andhra Pradesh, Telangana, Tamil Nadu, West Bengal and eastern states of Odisha. At prominent temples At Varasiddhi Vinayaka Swami Temple in Kanapakam, Andhra Pradesh, annual Brahmatsavams will be celebrated for 21 days starting from Vinayaka Chavithi Day. The processional deity of Vinayaka will be taken in a procession on different Vahanams on these days amidst large number of pilgrims across the country. <laughs> At home at homes in Maharashtra, families install small clay statues for worship during the festival. The murti is worshipped in the morning and evening with offerings of flowers, durva strands of young grass, karanja and modaks jaggery and coconut flakes wrapped in rice flour dumplings. The worship ends with the singing of an arti in honour of Ganesha, other gods and saints. In Maharashtra the Marathi arti composed by the 17th century saint, Samarth Ramdas is sung. Family traditions differ about when to end the celebration. Domestic celebrations end after one and a half, three, five, seven or eleven days. At that time the murti is ceremoniously brought to a body of water such as a lake, river or the sea for immersion. In Maharashtra, Gainshatsiv also incorporates other festivals, namely Hartalika and the Gauri festival. The former is observed with a fast by women on the day before Ganesh Chaturthi, whilst the latter by the installation of murtis of Gauris. In Goa, Ganesh Chaturthi is known as Chavath in Konkani and Parab or Parva. Auspicious celebration. It begins on the third day of the lunar month of Bhadrapada. On this day, Parvati and Shiva are worshipped by women, who fast. Instruments such as gumos, crash cymbals in Konkani and pakavaj an Indian barrel-shaped, two-headed drum are played during the rituals. The harvest festival, Navyachi Pancham, is celebrated the next day, freshly harvested paddy is brought home from the fields or temples and a puja is conducted. Communities who ordinarily eat seafood refrain from doing so during the festival. In Karnataka the Gauri festival precedes Ganesha Chaturthi, and people across the state wish each other well. In Andhra Pradesh, Ganesha Murtizo of clay and turmeric are usually worshipped at home with plaster of Paris murtis. In public Public celebrations of the festival are popular, and are organized by local youth groups, neighborhood associations or groups of tradespeople. Funds for the public festival are collected from members of the association arranging the celebration, local residents and businesses. The Ganesha idols and accompanying statues are installed in temporary shelters, known as mandaps or pandals. The festival features cultural activities such as singing, theatre and orchestral performances and community activities such as free medical checkups, blood donation sites and donations to the poor. Ganesh Chaturthi, in addition to its religious aspects, is an important economic activity in Mumbai, Surat, Pune, Hyderabad, Bangalore and Chennai. Many artists, industries, and businesses earn a significant amount of their living from the festival, which is a stage for budding artists. Members of other religions also participate in the celebration. In Tamil Nadu, the festival, also known as Vinayaka Chaturthi or Pillayar Chaturthi, falls on the fourth day after the new moon in the month of Avani in the Tamil calendar. The idols are usually made of clay or papier mache, since plaster of Paris idols have been banned by the state government, but violations of this rule are often reported. Idols are also made of coconuts and other organic products. They are worshipped for several days in pandals, and immersed in the Bay of Bengal the following Sunday. In Kerala, the festival is also known as Lambudhara Piranalu, which falls in the month of Chingam. 
In Tiruvananthapuram, a procession marches from the Pazavangadi Gunapati Temple to Shankumuam Beach, with tall statues of Ganesha made from organic items and milk immersed in the sea. <inaudible> Abroad Ganesha Chaturthi is celebrated in the UK by British Hindu population living there. The Hindu Culture and Heritage Society, a Southall-based organisation, celebrated Ganesha Chaturthi for the first time in London in 2005 at the Vishwa Hindu Temple. The idol was immersed in the River Thames at Putney Pier. Another celebration, organised by a Gujarati group, has been celebrated in Southend on Sea and attracted an estimated 18,000 devotees. Annual celebrations are also held on the River Mersey in Liverpool. The Philadelphia Ganesha Festival is one of the most popular celebrations of Ganesha Chaturthi in North America, and it is also celebrated in Canada, particularly in the Toronto area, Mauritius, Malaysia, and Singapore. The Mauritius Festival dates back to 1896, and the Mauritian government has made it a public holiday. In Malaysia and Singapore, the festival is more commonly known as Vinayagar Chaturthi because of the large Tamil speaking Hindu minority. In metropolitan France, Ganesh Chaturthi remains the main Hindu religious festival. The first Hindu temple dedicated to Ganesh on continental France opened in 1985 and the first procession took place in 1995. Since then, every year, the La Chapelle quarters of Paris are the site of a major procession with thousands of pilgrims and visitors. The organization is mainly conducted by the Tamil-speaking Sri Lanka community and the pilgrims are mostly Tamil Hindus from Sri Lanka and to a lesser extent Hindi-speaking Hindus from Mauritius. <inaudible> Foods The primary sweet dish during the festival is modak modak in Marathi and Konkani, modakam or kudumu in Telugu, modaka or kadubu in Kannada, kozhakata or modakam in Malayalam and korakate or modagam in Tamil. A modak is a dumpling made from rice or wheat flour, stuffed with grated coconut, jaggery, dried fruits and other condiments and steamed or fried. Another popular sweet dish is the karanja karjikai in Kannada, similar to modak in composition and taste but in a semicircular shape. This sweet meal is called nevri in Goa and is synonymous with Ganesh festival amongst the Gones and the Konkani diaspora. In Andhra Pradesh and Telangana modak, ladu, vundralu steamed, coarsely ground rice flour balls, panakam a jaggery, black pepper and cardamom flavoured drink, vatapapu soaked mung lentils and chalavidi a cooked rice flour and jaggery mixture are offered to Ganesha. These offerings are known as naivadya, and a plate of modak traditionally holds 21 pieces of the sweet. In Goa, modak and a gone version of idli sana is popular. Panchakajaya is an offering made to Lord Ganesha during this festival in parts of Karnataka. It is a mixture of desiccated coconut, roasted Bengal gram powder, sugar, ghee, and sesame. Different versions of panchakajaya are made. Roasted Bengal gram, green gram, roasted chana dal, putani, or aval can be used. Topic: <inaudible> Environmental impact. The Madras High Court ruled in 2004 that immersion of Ganesh idols is unlawful because it incorporates chemicals that pollute the sea water. In Goa the sale of plaster of Paris Ganesha idols has been banned by the state government and celebrants are encouraged to buy traditional, artisan-made clay idols. Recent initiatives to produce traditional clay Ganesha idols in Hyderabad have been sponsored by the Andhra Pradesh Pollution Control Board. Due to environmental concerns, a number of families now avoid bodies of water and let the clay statue disintegrate in a barrel of water at home. After a few days, the clay is spread in the garden. In some cities, a public, eco friendly process is used for the immersion. Gallery See also Cultural depictions of elephants Notes References Bibliography Grimes, John A. 1995, Ganapati, Song of the Self, Sunni Series in Religious Studies, Albany, State University of New York Press, ISBN 0-7914-2440-5 Michael, S. M. 
The Origin of the Ganapati Cult. Asian Folklore Studies. 42 191–116. doi.10.2307.1178368